my world. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. The voice that enables. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Welcome to Welcome to My World. My name is Kim Kilpatrick. We have an excellent show lined up for you today with Keenan Weller from Live Work Play as our guest. Stay Shelley. Yes, welcome to Welcome to My World, the voice that enables the show by, for, and about people with disabilities. <laughs> Take it away, Paris, do. Hi. Uh, welcome to Welcome to My World on CKCU FM 93.1. It's not just what you're born with, it's what you choose to bear. It's not how large a share is, it's how much you can share. It's not the fights you dream of, it's those you've really fought. It's not just what you're given, but what you do with what you got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, getting kicked off with Paris Do's Pick. Now, Paris Do, I have a question for you about Paris Do's Pick. You always seem to find great songs and a whole variety of songs. So how do you find your music for Paris Do's Pick? Well, today I would like to play a song uh, by Chocolat called Skyline. And how did you find that song? Um, I found it. Did you hear it on radio first or on the internet? or? Yes. yes. I... I heard it on the radio first, and then I liked that. I liked that song. And Shelley was saying she really likes it too, eh, Shelley? Yes, I do. I really like it. And of course, uh, this Paris Two's pick is a Canadian song, so uh, it's uh, quite uh, quite a good one. Yeah. 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 Check, check, one, 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 one. Well, y'all can move if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picture me, just a kid once again. Innocent in this world full of sin. Time took a pull, pops head took a spin. Hand came crashing up the side of my chin. A lesson that I learned from him. Rarely remembering him. Even hard to consider him friend. My mom tried to make these ends. We be poor, fix your notice on the door. Will it come to an end? Pimple head kid in the poke part again. Hoping the shots don't bust again. Cause I done lot to friends in the parking lot. Now their mom hates me and hip hop. Hip hop. Still she moved on. Can't fathom the loss of your first form. Some kids gotta deal with the devil sworn. They missed the small print when with the blink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it my way. That's all I wanna do. I'm reaching for the sky. But here she goes again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it my way. That's all I wanna do. It was a cold that moment When I saw these three people beat this man honest Knew the cops would not be on it Survival of the fittest Now these crews is that blue and outfit in it Attitudes of well screwed and wanna deal with them Mama's crying and baby's dying Earfuls of dudes saying that who's you Pissed off cause he's 10 years and through Newborn's 19, you 42 When you get out you considered old school And old dogs don't want no new rules Picture a new rapper disrespecting Grandmaster nah, nah, that can't happen Time to get back in You call up your soldiers trying to make moves again You're setting up shop but you're on claim turf man, 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 man. I'm looking at my way That's all I wanna do I'm reaching for the spotlight That's a great pick. Paris do always picks great picks. Now, our show today has a little bit of a serious theme. 
a couple of weeks ago, there was a bus and a train involved in a collision here in Ottawa, and、uh, several people were injured and, and killed in that. And it really struck me because I, and the, most of the people that died were at the front of the bus, and it really did strike me because I always sit at the front of the bus. Partly because I like the driver to see me get on and get off with my guide dog. And it used to be like that because I always sat at the front of the bus to hear the driver say the names of the stops. But now with the audible bus stop announcements, that's not quite as much of an issue. But I do tend to sit at the front. Do you sit at the front, Shelley? Um, not always, actually. I, I can manage pretty well wherever I am on a bus, and I don't mind standing. I'm able to do that.、Uh, I do sit at the front of the bus when I need the bus driver to call out a certain stop. Even with the call out system we have in Ottawa, sometimes it isn't working, or sometimes I'm not sure where I'm going, and the bus drivers here in Ottawa are exceptionally, exceptionally helpful.、Um, so, What we're going to do is we have with us in studio a very, very special guest,、uh, Keenan Weller.、Uh, and Keenan is, I probably don't have your title correct, the co founder of Live Work Play, which is an amazing group, which Keenan will tell us about in a second. Keenan, are you there? Hello, yes, thanks for having me. Hi, Keenan.、Uh, we're, we're very sorry for your loss, and、uh, we'd like to extend our, our sympathies. Our hearts go out to everyone involved at、uh, Live Work Play. And、uh, to everyone who is in any way involved in that bus <gasps> train crash、uh, that happened a couple of weeks ago here in Ottawa. And、uh, we'd like to take time to remember、uh, a certain individual who was part of your program,、uh, Rob Moore. So, Paris Dew has some questions to ask, and we're going to play some songs as well. Paris Dew, take it away. Yes.、Uh, well, Kenan, thank you for coming on the show today. Um, my first question is, Keenan, what kind of job do you do? That's a difficult question. So, I'm the co leader at、uh, Live Work Play. So, we're a local charitable organization. We have 12 staff members and over 150 volunteers. And、uh, our job together is to help people with intellectual disabilities have a good life in the community, to live, work, and play as. Valued citizens. And a lot of the work we do actually is helping the community understand how to do that. Okay. And my next question is what did you come here to talk about? Well, I got the、uh, initial invite from Shelley because I think she'd seen、uh, a lot of information online about、uh, Rob Moore, someone we actually used to support.、Um, and he Had made his way in the world and actually didn't need us anymore, which we were、um, very pleased about. And、uh, he has an amazing family that supported him to live the life he wanted to live, and he wasn't really in,、uh, in much need of any help. So I hadn't seen Rob、uh, personally for quite a few years. I was getting updates about his life from his family. Nice. So, um, Rob um, was working, and,、um, and can you just give us a little bit of, the situ- of、uh, what he was doing? and...、Uh, and- You know, a little bit so for the, anyone who doesn't know what happened、sure. uh, on that day. Well, Rob was about some 12 years、uh, into his career at、uh, IBM. And、uh, some 12 years ago, we had received an opportunity from、uh, a small company that was later、uh, acquired by IBM. And they were looking for someone as basically a maintenance position in the beginning. And、uh, that person was Rob and eventually worked his way into a much、uh, bigger job and was known to some 250 people at IBM. And of course,、uh, the day of the tragedy, he was on his normal bus,、uh, 76, going to work. And so the first. Indication I had that Rob might have been involved was、uh, when one of his,、uh, his bosses gave me a call just on the off chance that Rob might have contacted us since he did not show up for work.、Hmm. Well, that must have been a very, very、um, emotional day for, for everybody. And for those of you who aren't in Ottawa, we had、um, a tragedy here a couple of weeks ago on the 18th of September where a bus 
and a train did collide and six people died in that uh, in that accident and there were several oh. injured about 30 folks injured and I heard about that. Yes, it, it made international news actually. It was all over the place. Now, Keenan, there was um, a memorial. There was several tributes to Rob. Uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the one that you were involved in and some of the tributes that happened last week and then we have a special segment from one of those tributes to share with the audience. Wonderful. Uh, well, there was uh, a couple of visitations and a, and a formal service um, attended by about 300 people and uh, my wife and I had an opportunity to uh, speak at the service. It was truly um, an honor. They had organized uh, a teacher and then Julie myself and then one of his colleagues at IBM so pretty much captured uh, most of Rob's life and it was amazing the, the themes of, of humor and his social nature uh, just emerged from everybody and there was laughs and tears and then um, we had a uh, special ceremony just in the Live Work Play community on Friday night. We were all coming together and we needed to talk about uh, how we might want to celebrate Rob's life. And I think we did find eventually a good way. <laughs> Tell us about the, the moment of noise. Yes, well, you know, I've been listening a lot to, to Rob's family and his friends uh, for the last week or so. and. Uh, you know nothing new about the type of person Rob was, and he, he loved uh, he loved the Ottawa Senators. He loved sports. He was an absolute sports dictionary. He knew everything about everything, and uh, we thought you know uh, a moment of silence might be the traditional thing, but we didn't think that's what Rob would have wanted. So uh, we decided after a, a poetry reading that. Uh, we would have a moment of noise. <laughs> well, we have it right here, and we're going to share it with the audience. Fabulous. You can all please rise. What we're asking for is not a moment of silence, but a moment of noise. We want to make 30 seconds of noise to Rob to the theme of his absolute favorite sports team of all time. Let me see if I get this to work. Clapping's good. Let's get the rhythm going. And let's hear it nice and loud. I think that was perfect, too. <laughs> what a great idea. What a really innovative idea. Moment of noise. Eh? Yeah. You like uh, that, Paris, too? Yes, I like it. Instead and of a moment of silence. Exactly. <laughs> and I would like to just say, go, says, go. In memory of Rob. Eh? Go, says, go. Thank you. And can you tell us a little, it sounds like he was quite a character, and you've, you've told us a few things. Is there, is there anything else you really remember about him? Yeah, obviously his humor and his love of sports and anything else? You well, I think relevant to your earlier discussion about buses and things, that uh, uh, Rob uh, engaged other people, and uh, he was okay if that ended up in a rejection. If he said hi and didn't si say hi back, he just went on to the next person, and uh, I think he was pretty famous on his bus for, uh, he was the person to talk to if he wanted to catch up on the sports or the news. He didn't just sit there looking out the window. He, he loved other people and other people loved him. That's so great. And can you tell us one thing you did mention when we were talking previously was um, sometimes people with uh, any kind of disability, intellectual disabilities, aren't given a chance to, to grieve. You mentioned that and I found that quite interesting. So can you say a little about that as well? Sure. Well, I mean, lots of people with different types of disabilities can be protected by others um, from experiencing life to the fullest. And one of the things that they are often protected from uh, is grief with the idea that maybe they can't handle it. Well, none of us can really handle something like a friend that passes away, but we need to learn how to do that. So 
Um, I think it's really important that if there's families listening out there, maybe you're, you're raising a child with a disability, um, don't hide them from the grief that the rest of us learn to deal with because it only gets harder as life goes on. So that is something that uh, we would support investigating how, how best to do that. But don't hide people from life. You need to help them learn about it. And that's one of the goals that uh, Live, Work, Play lives by, doesn't it, is to really involve people in the community and uh, so that they can get into life uh, as much as everybody. Um, one of the things we do have uh, next queued up is a beautiful song, and uh, it came from uh, a singer-songwriter here in Ottawa named Tom Lips. Storyteller. And Storyteller, because he, he's also a friend of Kim's and, and is part of uh, the storytelling community as well. And uh, Tom appeared on a show that we have here that's been running for 33 years called Canadian Spaces. And, uh, and shout, out to Chris. shout out to Chris White, who did the interview with Tom. And so what we have next is a little intro. And then we have a song called Transit Way, which is so appropriate for today. And earlier you mentioned, Keenan, that um, Rob went out of his way to make friends on the bus and to get people involved. <laughs> and this, is, this song is sort of about that. So we're going to hear Tom Lips with the intro and the song. David talked about chronicling our times, and so I thought of this one, which is called Transit Way. I wrote it a long time ago when the Transit Way was still new, and uh, I was still getting used to the idea of having a, a full-time job for <laughs> the first time, which was both great and shocking, and uh, going and waiting in the Transit Way every day to, to go to work, and then waiting in the Transit Way every day after work, and trying to trying to deal with a new lifestyle so see if i can do it after all these years the walls are stone but this tunnel is roofed with the sky i stand here and dream while the wrong numbered buses go by I forget about the way I earn my pay In the stone trench of the transit way We live in a country where the bombs have neglected to fall Ah, but mercy's a miracle we hardly notice at all just stand here stunned when we ought to kneel and pray in the stone trench of the transit way in the stone trench of the transit way if there's a riddle in the rhythm of machines I have to say I can't imagine what it To shun every stranger they meet So many people have faces as stern as the street Still I half expect I'll meet my love today In the stone trench of the transit way
That was a beautiful song by Tom Lips. And for those of you who don't live in Ottawa, just to describe, the Transit Way is a great big tunnel that runs through the city of Ottawa, and it was built in around 1978, 79, 80, and it just moves people from one end of the city to the next. And it's, it's our treasure, and a lot of us use it. And uh, speaking of which, OC Transpo is another one of our treasures here in Ottawa. Um, I use the bus every day, and so many others do too. And uh, we just wanted to give a big shout-out to the bus drivers, the operators, who do this every day, day in and day out, helping people get from one place to another. And doing it very, very well. I've had very positive experiences on OC Transpo, and uh, just to say thank you. And just to say that we're we're sorry for your colleague who died, because one of the people who died was the bus driver. Um, oh. And uh, so I've had great experiences on OC Transpo. I mean, drivers who have really gone out of the way to pull up past the big snow bank so I didn't have to climb over or to make sure that I knew there was construction where I was getting off and I just give a shout out to them and say that we're thinking of them and of course all the families and friends and colleagues of people who lost people and not just lost people but happened to be on the bus or um, you know were injured or knew people who are because we are a a small community in that way Uh, so just before we give Keenan a few last words I kind of uh, uh, Paris, do you have a shout out? Yes. Okay. I would like to give one shout out to the staff at the Ottawa Rotary Home. Oh, yeah, you were there, right? Eh? Yes. Yeah. I was there last weekend. And I would like to just give a special shout out to Anise from the Rotary home who might be listening. Yeah, I hope so. And his, he told me he would listen to it in his car. All right. For, uh, to go to work. Great. So. Shout out to Anise. <laughs> um, I just want to say also how you can get in touch with us. Uh, so you can get in touch with us at, uh, um, we have a Twitter feed, which is at CKCUWTMW. We have an email address, which is CKCUDisabilities at gmail.com. We have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash CKCUWTMW. And a blog, CKCUWelcomeToMyWorld.wordpress.com. That's the media side that I take care of and Shelly does take care of um, the other side. I just want to give a shout out to everyone listening, all our our, our faithful listeners, and uh, thank you so much. I'm going to pass it to Shelly, and then she's going to give the last word to Keenan. Yes, we do have a lot of good faithful listeners, and uh, of course, you know, very soon Funding Drive is coming up, and you're going to be hearing a lot more about Funding Drive in the next few weeks, and uh, the other thing, too, is if this if you miss the show, you're probably listening live, but if you happen to miss it, you can always catch up with us later on. All you need to do is to go to www.ckcufm.com, look at programs, look at uh, Tuesdays at 9.30. Welcome to my world, and all of our shows are archived there. We also invite your comments. Um, if you're listening live now, you can go to Add Your Voice. Yeah, and we love reading your comments. We can't read them on the air while we're here, but we look at them afterward, and we so appreciate all the feedback. Um, And uh, just to let you know that Martha Walsh is going to be standing in the wings here to do Mars Local Connection, our famous Ottawa-based music show. And uh, I would just like to give the last word over to Keenan. Keenan, any final thoughts? This is a small world. So Martha Walsh knew me when I had one of my first jobs at St. Anthony's School. So, um, And I'll be going to a Rotary meeting later. So there's another connection. And just last but not least, that was a beautiful song. And... You know, in, in honor of, of everyone um, that was affected by the tragedy, just live your life and say hi to somebody else and make someone's day. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're going to sign off now. And uh, to my colleagues here, uh, first of all, our special guest, Keenan Weller, thank you so much. And, and thanks to all the good folks that live, work, play for all you do. And uh, Paris, Du and Kim, 
And uh, Kim, what is I just I just want to say, Ke- if Keenan wants to um, send us his website and things, anything, I'll put it on our blog so that listeners can also find out more. But we'll we'll probably be having him back again to talk more about his organization, if Thanks. he if he would like that. Love it. So, all right. And okay. my my oh sorry, Paris, do go ahead. Okay, I just want to say, uh, we'll be back next week. Same time, same place. Yes, and we're going to have a Thanksgiving show, and uh, stay tuned for that. Now, my final shout-out is to my good friends uh, Etienne and Lorraine Jabot, who are celebrating their 25th anniversary. And this is a delightful song to play out with. Uh, as you know, uh, Etienne uh, is in a band called The Network Man, and they recorded a beautiful song off of their disc, Cool Down Now. The song is Camino, and I think it's a very, very fitting way for us to sign off today. So thank you very much.